Dan, what's your question this afternoon? Tonight? I've got a question for Bob. Um, right. I've got a pond that's a little over a year old, less than a half an acre, and it has never cleared. It's always been good Southern Illinois clay colored. And I tested it the other day with some gypsum, and gypsum will uh, settle the sample. So I'm getting ready to do that. But my question is, is once I settle it, and I'm trying to control my runoff, but will it settle easier once this gypsum has been applied? Well, I got good news. <clears throat> I've got bad news. <laughs> <laughs> no, Just Dan, you first. Uh, the, the reality <laughs> is that it's when you have suspended clay particles like what you're talking about, the gypsum chemically reacts with those and makes them heavy so they sink. And as long as you've got that amount of gypsum in the water, it's always going to settle out. One of the best things you can do, though, is just to stop the source. If you can stop free dirt from coming into the pond, you're going to increase your odds of having a pond that stays clear. Uh, I would expect, though, and, and I tell you, I've seen it go either way. I've seen a pond where you clear it and it stays that way, and others when you know they're going to stay that way and they muddy up again. But once you figure out the formula with the gypsum, you can make it happen again and again and again. And for a pond that size, it's not that expensive to do that. For a small fee, you make house calls, don't you? I always make house calls. I've never had anybody bundle up a pond and bring it to me. That's how he can afford such a big house. Yeah.